and our special Lifeline series, The Science of Aging, the newest ways to beat the clock. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. The science of aging, new discoveries that could erase one of these sure signs you're getting older. The one thing you must remember, there is no culture that values wrinkled skin. Why wrinkles are no longer necessarily inevitable, tonight's Lifeline report. Now to our special series here tonight, Beating the Clock. It's called The Science of Aging. Tonight, age lines, the telltale signs you can't hide that the clock is, in fact, ticking. Now, new discoveries that can stop wrinkles and actually, they say, reverse the aging process. Here with that, NBC's chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. To most people, the major sign of aging, those lines in the face. At 30, most fair-skinned people have at least one. At 50, everyone has them. And by 70, they cover three-quarters of the face. The one thing you must remember, there is no culture that values wrinkled skin. But the latest science finds these lines are not an inevitable part of growing older. Natural aging is a minor part of what you think of when you think of as the aged appearance. To study wrinkled skin, Dr. Daniel Siegel pours super glue into volunteer skin and takes tiny slices. Turns out what causes the lines is not the skin, but a protein underneath called collagen that acts like an elastic band to pull skin tight. Over time, the elastic gives out, letting the skin go. It can't just slide away or disappear, although we'd love to have that happen. It folds on itself, and that's a wrinkle. What makes the elastic collagen break down? The biggest culprit, not age, but the sun. In his laboratory, Dr. John Voorhees exposes volunteers to at most 10 minutes of ultraviolet light, the same kind from the sun. He finds UV light brings on the same wrinkling process as aging, but thousands of times faster. We begin to degrade and ruin the collagen down as little as a tenth of the amount of light that causes skin to become minimally pink. The only thing worse than the sun in causing lines, smoking, cutting off blood circulation to the collagen, killing it. Gay and Gwen, 62-year-old identical twins, a case study in the science of aging skin. Gwen stayed in Maryland where they were born. Gay moved to California, spending more than 30 years in the sun, ending up with far more lines in her face. Both twins recently got facelifts, but Gay knows why she needed it more. I only have one life to go through and I want to live it to the fullest, but I know now that all the sunbathing that I did was certainly damaging. Americans, mostly women in middle age, now spend more than $20 billion a year on facelifts, laser treatments, chemical peels, Botox and creams to get rid of wrinkles. The message for younger people? Wrinkles are not an inevitable part of growing old if you don't smoke and avoid the sun. For older people, it is never too late to slow down the wrinkling of the skin. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.